Fox gave fans an exclusive preview of X-Men Days of Future Past. The goal was to try to make a film that would bring these casts together. This is going to be fun. I'm turning up to work every day, not only being able to work in the future part of the movie, but also working in the past. I was sent here for you. From the future? Tell whoever it was that sent you, I'm busy. The person who sent me was you. The best part about this movie has been for me knowing that at an earlier time in my life I was James McAvoy. I never thought for a second I'd actually get to work with Patrick. That was quite interesting to show these people at different times in their lives. You're afraid, I remember. It's a very collaborative thing. That's the one thing that I've sort of found. The best thing about playing the older Magneto at this time, no helmet. You don't like the helmet? No. <laughs> we'll talk about helmets later, shall we? <laughs> I play a sex surrogate. It's based on a real woman named Cheryl Cohen Green, who is prescribed by a sex therapist to have sex with them. I'm not a prostitute. You don't have to pay me up front. Shall we get undressed? I'm naked in the movie. As an actor, you use everything. So I used my love of my body. I used my fear of exposing my body. I used every acting class I've ever taken. But the opportunity to be part of what it might be like to look at sexuality without shame, I wanted to be part of that. I wanted to be part of a movie that gave an audience a breath of fresh air from all the weirdness that's out there around sex. You're gonna start to listen to signals from your body. That way you'll be able to have some control. Oh, God. I think it's really important to respect someone who created incredible works of art, but it's also important to present them as human beings. And lots of people who made the film on both sides of the camera were at crisis points. I'm under extraordinary pressures on this picture, and the least you could do is give me your full support. We've mortgaged our house. You're never going to be as good as the real person. I had the advantage with Alma that no one's really familiar with her, so it gives you a little bit more freedom. How are you going to shoot the shower scene? I worked similar to Janet on Psycho, actually. It is much more challenging than I imagine. You take on the responsibility of not do an imitation of somebody, but to try to capture their essence. It was challenging. More anger! More! <laughs> Why it's so difficult to confirm appointments? No, I'm so sorry, Miranda. I actually did confirm. The details of your incompetence do not interest me. Who is that? Acting is a weird job because you don't really have a boss. You have people who think they're in charge of your talent, but when the camera's rolling, you can pretty much do what you want. <laughs> Looking at. I would go back to when I was waiting on tables to find the real taskmasters. People who are very, very demanding, and you didn't necessarily like them, but they were valuable in your life in terms of teaching you how to work hard. I'm trying to get you a pledge, but no one is flying out because of the weather. Please. It's just, I don't know, drizzling. They look real, sound real, and feel real, but they're not. They're animatronic. An animatronic animal is a piece that we create that represents a live animal that will perform actions that the live animals can't do on set. Creature Effects created a horse for Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai. The horse was designed to represent all of the movements of a real horse and to perform stunt sequences.
Japanese. 